March 2014, Russia's annexation of Crimea, the Russian army occupies the Ukrainian peninsula and begins military operations in the Luhansk and Donetsk regions. The National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine introduces an anti-terroristic operation regime in these territories. The world reacts to the military aggression against Ukraine. Russia is excluded from the G8. EU countries Australia, Georgia, the USA, Canada and others impose sanctions against individuals and legal entities from the Federation. Banks, defense industry, port and aviation infrastructure, oil and gas production companies. The president also signed a decree that authorizes sanctions against individuals and institutions involved in actions that undermine democratic processes in Ukraine, threaten peace, sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine. Eric Rubin, U.S. State Department spokesman in a comment to BBC. Since Russia's occupation of Crimea and parts of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions, the civilized West has not eased its sanctions pressure on Moscow. And in the first 10 days after the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the Federation became the world's most sub-sanctioned country, suppressing Iran, Syria, North Korea and Venezuela. In 2022, the European Union adopted nine packages of restrictions against Russia, the United States, 30. Kyiv's allies banned the sale of high-tech goods to Russia, equipment and technologies for the oil refining industry, aircraft, spare parts and equipment for Russian airlines, technologies for the airspace industry, dual-use goods, technologies and many other things. But we stand by Ukraine and we will make Russia pay for its cruelty. We can't let Putin win. It's in our overwhelming national interest and international interest of all our friends. The European Union has closed its airspace to Russian aircraft. Dozens of major Russian companies and government agencies, including Putin's administration, the Foreign Intelligence Service and the Defense Ministry, have been blacklisted. Putin and his entourage, officials and oligarchs, are under personal sanctions. In 2023, the European Union, the US, Canada and UK and other allies of the Ukraine continued to put pressure on Russia. The EU Congress banned the import of depleted uranium from the Federation until 2000. 2040 and imposed restrictions on hundreds of individuals and entities involved in Moscow's circumvention of sanctions and strengthening of Federation's military industrial complex. We defeated Russia in the battle for minds of the world. We have no fear, nor should anyone in the world have it. Ukraine's gained this victory and it gives us courage which inspires the entire world. Americans gained this victory, and that's why you have succeeded in uniting the global community to protect freedom and international law. Moscow was deprived of legal access to technologies and goods that can be used in the military-industrial complex. And in the 11th package, Brussels even banned the transit through the territory of the Federation of a number of goods that can be used for military needs, aviation or space industry, as well as aviation and rocket fuel. The sanctions against the Russian energy sector have become one of the most painful. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Larisa Zubenko, UATV News.